I'm Richard Clark. I record these talks every day as a way to deepen my inquiry. Listen each day and deepen your own practice. Welcome. I'm reviewing and commenting on the book Talks with Shri Ramana Maharshi. Today is from Talk 378, Part 2. In a conversation with an Andhra visitor, Sri Bhagavan quoted from the Bhagavad Gita, chapter 6, verse 24. I'm not going to attempt to read the Sanskrit. To explain Vairagya, Sri Bhagavan again quoted from the Bhagavad Gita, having cast out without remains, all longing born of thought for self, having drawn in by mind alone his team of senses from all sides. In an interaction with an Andhra visitor, Ramana Maharshi quotes chapter 6, verse 24 of the Bhagavad Gita to explain the concept of viragya, dispassion. Or detachment. Viragya is a pivotal aspect of spiritual practice. In Advanta Vedanta, this is dispassion or detachment from worldly desires and attachments. The verse translates, having cast out without remains all longing born of thought for self having drawn in by mind alone his team of senses from all sides. The verse instructs you to cast out all desires that are born from thoughts. These desires are the root cause of attachment and bondage. The Gita emphasizes the need to eliminate these desires completely without leaving any trace behind. These desires go deep into your mind's habits. They include the tendencies, the vasanas that are driven by your inherent desire for happiness. Vasanas are what stand as obstacles between your first deep sense of yourself and final unwavering realization. The tendency is based on a mistaken idea or memory of what makes you happy, an idea held by the imaginary identity that you think you are. Example, I am a body. This body is happy eating chocolate. I want to be happy. Where's the chocolate? This form of happiness is temporary, transient, and depends on external things or activities. The solution is to learn to discover experientially within yourself the lasting happiness that comes from within. Another path to resolution of the tendency is to find out if you really are what you imagine yourself to be. In the example, are you a body? The first also stresses the control of the senses. The mind must be used to draw in and restraining the senses from wandering towards external objects. This inward focus is crucial for achieving steadiness in meditation and spiritual practice. These wandering senses, too, are driven by your tendencies. I have to find some chocolate. Ramana frequently taught the importance of self-inquiry. 
Atma Vajra and the need for dispassion. This verse from the Gita encapsulates the essence of the detachment required for deep meditation and self-realization. Detachment keeps the mind from reaching out and disturbing the peace of meditation. By eliminating desires and restraining the senses, you can focus inward and realize the self beyond the mind and senses. This is self-knowledge. It is the self-knowledge element of any practice that brings spiritual depth. The Maharshi's use of this verse serves to illustrate that Tuvaragya involves a complete renunciation of desires born from thoughts, sankalpa, and a disciplined control over the senses. Ramana Maharshi would say, I have no sankalpas. This detachment is not mere physical withdrawal, but an inner state where you are no longer swayed by external attractions and are solely focused on the self. A key to detachment is the knowledge of the inner source of lasting happiness, knowing the happiness within. This dialogue emphasizes that to achieve viragya, you must diligently cast off all desires and maintain strict control over the senses through the mind. To do this, you must recognize and resolve the tendencies that drive your mind to try to find happiness in the world. This process is vital for progressing on the spiritual path and realizing your true nature, as taught by Ramana Maharshi. So, know yourself and be always free and at peace. The book, Who Am I with Comments, is my take on these early teachings of Ramana Maharshi. It's available on Amazon, free to Kindle subscribers. A link is in the video notes. These videos bring Ramana's teachings into your direct experience. Click subscribe to see more. Click thumbs up to like and send questions and start a dialogue with the comments 